Hello everybody, Spooky Marshmallow here, and today our Scream Queen of the Day is Brink Stevens. I know her best from Slumber Party Massacre, so let's get right down to it. Stevens was born Charlene Elizabeth Brinkman on September 20th, 1954 in San Diego to Charles Brinkman, an aircraft riveter, and Lorraine Brinkman. She is of German and Mongolian descent. Stevens was raised in Crest, California, along with her brother, Carrie. She graduated from Granite Hills High School in El Cajun and was a gifted student, becoming a member of Mensa International while still in high school. As a teenager, she was a fan of Star Trek and frequently attended sci-fi-themed conventions. In 1974, Stevens attended San Diego Comic Con and won first place in the Miss Masquerade Ball. She remained involved in running the masquerade at Comic-Con for years after her win. She earned a bachelor's degree in biology and psychology from San Diego State University before enrolling to study marine biology at the Scripps Inst Institution of Oceanology in La Jolla, California, aspiring to become a marine biologist. Stevens planned to pursue a Ph.D. at the Institute, but was barred from completing when it was uncovered that she had incorporated dolphins at SeaWorld as part of her studies, violating the Institute's authorization that had given her clearance only to study the vision of seals. Despite this, she was later granted an honorary doctorate. Stevens subsequently relocated with her then-husband, comic illustrator Dave Stu Stevens, whom she met in college to Los Angeles in 1980 and served as a model for the character of Betty in Stevens' comic series Rocketeer. After the couple divorced in 1981, Brink, unable to find employment in the field of biology, began working as a film extra for income. Photographer Dan Golden saw a photograph of her in costume and hired her for a non-speaking role in the student film Zizak is King. He also later photographed her for the cover of the first issue of Femme Fatales. While leaving a modeling agency, Stevens stopped by an office door to look at film posters on the walls. The occupant, Jacob Bressler, told her to enter and asked for her portfolio. On the basis of that, he cast her in an uncredited, non-speaking role in All the Marbles. Stevens' first speaking role was as Linda Dawn Grant in The Slumber Party Massacre a role she reprised in Cheerleader Massacre, which came out in 2003. Stevens has appeared in more than 100 feature films, primarily in the genres of horror, science fiction, and fantasy films. She has gained notoriety as a scream queen. In addition to acting, Stevens has co-written a number of screenplays, co-produced two documentaries, and served as an on-set decorator. She co-wrote Teenage Exorcist, in which she also appeared. Stevens portrayed Julie Quinn, mother of serial killer Wayne Montgomery in the 2000 horror film Head Case. She reprised her role in the three sequels, 2009's The Ritual, Postmortem, and 2013's Head Case's Serial Killers in the Del Delaware Valley. Stevens is depicted in the horror novel Bad Moon Rising, the third installment of Jonathan Mayberry's Pine Deep trilogy alongside Jim O'Rear, Tom Savini, and Debbie Rocan, published in 2008. More recently, she has appeared in a 2009 documentary, Pretty Bloody, The Women of Horror, and appeared in the 2013 remake of Die, Sister, Die. Alongside regular co-stars Leanna Quigley and Michelle Bauer, Stevens appeared in and was a main subject for the 2011 documentary Screaming in High Heels, the Rise and Fall of the Scream Queen Era, and its 2020 follow-up, Screaming in High Heels, The Reunion. Stevens narrated the 2021 Sirius XM podcast limited series, Comic Con Begins, origin stories of the San Diego Comic Con and the rise of the modern fandom. All right, that's going to do it for today's Scream Queen Brink Stevens. I am Spooky Marshmallow. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, stay spooky, my friends.